What is happening guys, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I got what I think is a pretty cool video for you. I got a nice watch to share with you guys today. But as usual, before we get into that, I wanna throw out this little disclaimer here because watch guys and you know the watch community can be very cool i i fully respect them but they can be a little passionate you know a, a, about the the subject of watches and what should be featured and you know not featured on youtube so let me just Real quick say that I am not yet fully educated in the subject of watches. I have been getting better. I've been talking to some people and educating myself, learning here and there, but I am not a watch guy. I'm not a watch aficionado, if you will. And I'm not going to be on here making some wild claims about today's watch. I'm not, you know, going to be, it's better than Rolex and it's better than Seiko. It's, you know, I'm not going to be doing any of that. I'm not going to be comparing it to any other brand. I'm not even going to actually encourage anyone to run out and get this watch. I'm simply going to showcase the info and the facts as provided by the brand, give you guys a closer look at the watch. And at the end, as always, you can decide what you think of the watch. So let's get after it here today. We're talking about JBW watches and we're starting right now. All right, so once again, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'd be really appreciative of that. And just like I said a second ago, we are talking about JBW Watches. They reached out to me and asked me to check out their watch line here. And right away, I, I, I wanna be honest with you guys on stuff like this. I get quite a few of these types of requests every single month. You know, watch brands asking me to take a look at their stuff and showcase it on the channel. And honestly, lately, since I've been educating myself, you know, a little more, more in the area of watches, I have found myself declining more and more requests to feature watches based on certain things that I'm starting to learn. But this one here actually caught my eye for a couple of reasons. The main one being diamonds. Diamonds. This here is the Phantom Metal timepiece from JBW Watches. And this slick looking timepiece features a black metal round case with 200 diamonds. Yes, 200 diamonds. Beyond that, it features a Japanese Seiko VD-53 movement inside a 42 millimeter case that's made from black ion plated stainless steel. It also features a nice curved side profile that kind of helps the watch hug the wrist a little bit. Now, right away, I have to just say this is probably the flashiest watch I've ever had on my wrist. I mean, at first glance here, I actually thought this might be a little too flashy for me personally. But the longer that I've had it on, the longer that I've looked at it, the longer that I've, you know, I've let it grow on me a little bit, I I've become a fan of it. I think with this one, it wasn't so much that it didn't fit me. It was more of me needing to just lean out of my comfort zone a little bit, you know, and I really like and appreciate things, not just watches, but, you know, fashion and hairstyles and things like that I really appreciate stuff like that that kind of pushes me out of that comfort zone a little bit this one here again is just starting to really grow on me I, I really like the look of the face I actually really love this curved side profile because it, it does really hug the wrist and it makes it really comfortable to have it on the arm I will say though that it is a little heavy I actually seen that in some of the comments on Facebook about this brand that their watches are a little heavy I don't have the exact weight uh, but I I mean, I've actually had heavier watches than this personally. I've had heavier watches, but I've you know obviously I had lighter ones too. I don't think that this is really too heavy. I can see why somebody might think that it's too heavy. I don't personally think that it's too heavy though. I, it does have some weight to it, but for me that kind of just adds to the overall uniqueness of the timepiece. Now, as far as pairing it with clothing and things like that, I am a bit on the fence about pairing it with you know, a t-shirt like this, for example, or, or something as casual as that. I don't know if it fully works, you know, being as the watch looks so good. And then, you know, this is, this is actually what I wear pretty much every day, you know, a quick silver shirt, a Hurley shirt, something like that, just something, something very casual. So I, I kind of feel like this doesn't match this as far as levels go, but I do think that it might depend on the actual shirt that you're wearing. For example, if you're wearing like a nice fitted essentials t-shirt, that is one thing that I have tried and can tell you that it pairs really well with a watch that looks like this. I think that looks awesome. You know, again, if you're wearing like something like this, 
I'm kind of on the fence about that. I'm not sure if it really fits, you know, enough to, to match the timepiece. It's obvious though that formal wear, sweaters, jackets, things like that, that will complement this watch very well. In the end here too, after, you know, wearing it for a while and really looking at it, taking everything in, doing some hands-on research with this watch, I really like how this timepiece gave me kind of, again, a push out of my comfort zone and got me to try out something that I don't think I would have just tried out on my own. As far as the diamonds go, you know, you can tell that they're there. You can see them. I really love how it kind of catches the light when you're looking at it. It catches your eye. It kind of, you know, looks really sparkly. I think it's a really fun icebreaker or maybe a conversation piece as you're wearing it. They do claim that they are real. I, I mean, that's what the brand says. I am going to go off of that. I haven't yet seen anything to say otherwise. I obviously don't know, so I'm not going to be making any claims about the, the diamonds. Personally, though, I do like the way that they're set in there. None of them are falling out, anything like that. None of them have come loose. I've worn this all over the place and haven't seen anything happen as far as damage or any of the diamonds coming out, anything like that. The last thing that I do want to mention, though, actually has to do with this box that the watch comes in. This is something I talk about in a lot of my videos. I love to talk about packaging and presentation. It's something that I really care about. It's something that I focus on a lot in my own products and projects that I work on. And this watch box, honestly, is probably one of the nicest that I've gotten on in my time on YouTube. I mean, I love how big it is. I love this like smooth matte black that it comes in with this metal badge here with the brand name. I think it's just an overall really great presentation and it just ties things together in my opinion. You know, you get this nice looking watch and a nice looking box. I just love the presentation that it comes in. And again, that's just something that I I pay attention to for whatever reason. I've always just really appreciated product presentation for the customer. So that's just something I, I thought that they did well in my opinion. Now, the watch itself, it retails on the JBW site for $6.99, I believe it is. And as always, a link will be in the description there for you to take a look at their site and you know take a look at things as I've presented it. You, I always leave it up to you guys to check things out for yourself. As usual too, I leave the final judgment to you guys. So let me know in the comment section what you thought of this watch. And if you'd be so kind as to hit the thumbs up there and the subscribe button again, if you haven't already, that would be a huge help to me and I really appreciate that. Thanks again for stopping by the channel today. Take Take it easy. I'll see you next time.